Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm going to continue to talk to my companions around Haven for this episode. And I may actually talk again to Vivian and Sarah since I didn't since I didn't uh, really talk to them in depth just to get to know them a little bit at the end of the last episode. But let's check my potion upgrades too. I didn't find a down lotus yet. <clears throat> and it seems I cannot really upgrade more for this one. And no blood lotus. Just going to go back. Let's start with Solas over here. Hi there. As I explored the fade. I felt the presence of an intriguing artifact in the hinterlands. If you are willing. Okay, sure. I'm sure we can look into it. And it seems I can ask you more questions. Can you tell I'd me like about to yourself? Know more about you, Solas. Why? Because you're interesting. Hmm. I, I kind of trust him. Not, not uh, for sure, but I think he is trustable. Hmm. I also respect you. I think you raised up yourself as an apostate and an elf to... You're an apostate, yet you risked your freedom to help yes. the position. Not the wisest course of action when framed that way. I appreciate the work <laughs> you're doing, Solas. I just wanted to know more mm -hmm. about you. I'm sorry. There's so much fear in the air. What would you know of me? Let's see. So why did you start to study the Fade? What made fade, you start actually? studying the Fade? I grew up in a village to the north. There was little mm. to interest a young man, especially one gifted with magic. But as I slept, Spirits of the Fade showed me glimpses of wonders I had never imagined. I treasured my dreams. Being awake out of the Fade became troublesome. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, it really sounds Did dangerous. Try to tempt you. No more than a brightly colored fruit is deliberately tempting you to eat it. I learned how to defend myself from more aggressive spirits and how to interact safely with the rest. I learned how to control my mm -hmm. dreams with full consciousness. There was so much I wanted to explore. Wow. And yes, let me let me try to get this straight. I learned how to control my dreams with full consciousness. That's that's really interesting. Okay. So clearly you I woke you up didn't then. Spend your entire life dreaming. Eventually, I was unable to find new areas in the Fade. Why? Two reasons. First, the Fade reflects the world around it. Unless I traveled, mm -hmm. I would never find anything new. Second, the Fade reflects and is limited by our imaginations. To find interesting areas, one must be interested. <laughs> okay. So, maybe is that is why you're why here? You joined the Inquisition? I joined the Inquisition because we were all in terrible danger. If our enemies destroyed the mm -hmm. world, I would have nowhere to lay my head while dreaming of the Fade. That's true. A weird part good for you. I actually hope I that works. You Thank you. In truth, I've enjoyed experiencing more of life to find more of the Fade. How so? You train your will to control magic and withstand possession. Your indomitable focus mm -hmm. is an enjoyable side benefit. You have chosen a path whose steps you do not dislike because it leads to a destination you enjoy. As have I. I... Did you just flirt it with me? I... T <laughs> you like my side benefits? Focus. Presumably. I have yet to see it dominated. I imagine that the sight would be... Fascinating. Mm -hmm. Oh my, that was smooth, you bald elf. So 
<laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, where have you, you studied travels to many different places? This world, or its memory, is reflected in the fade. Dream in ancient ruins? You may see a city lost to history. Some of my fondest memories were found in crumbling cities, long picked dry by treasure seekers, the best of the battlefields. Spirits press so tightly on the veil that you can slip across with but a thought. Hmm. Which battlefield? Any place exactly? in particular? I dreamt at Ostagar. I witnessed the brutality of the Darkspawn and the valor of the Ferelden warriors. I saw Alistair and the hero of Ferelden light the signal fire. Really? And Logain's infamous betrayal of Caelan's forces. Can you tell me about it? It would be interesting to hear what it was really like. That's just it. In the Fade, I see reflections created by spirits who react to the emotions of the warriors. One moment, I see heroic wardens lighting the fire and a power-mad villain sneering as he lets King Caelan fall. The next, I see an army overwhelmed and a veteran commander refusing to let more soldiers die in a lost cause. And you can't tell which is real? It is the Fade. Hmm. They are all real. Really? Well, if you you said that fate reflects the real world, so they're kind of all real, maybe. Hmm. Do you work with anyone? Have you anyone? always traveled and studied alone? Not at all. I have built many lasting friendships. Spirits of wisdom, possessed of ancient knowledge, happy to share what they had seen. Spirits of purpose helped me search. Even wisps, curious and playful, would point out treasures I might have missed. Wisdom and purpose, I actually never heard about those I don't before. know of any spirits by those names. They rarely seek this world. When they do, their natures do not often survive exposure to the people they encounter. Wisdom and purpose are too easily twisted into pride and desire. Hmm. You're yes, saying demon that you became friends with pride and desire demons? They were not demons for me. Meaning? The fade reflects the minds of the living. If you expect a spirit of wisdom to be a pride demon, it will adapt. And if your mind is free of corrupting really? influences, if you understand the nature of the spirit, they can be fast friends. That sounds a little bit confusing to me. <clears throat> so, if it's true, it's amazing, but can they really be your friends also? I think spirits can be, but I'm not sure about demons. But whatever the case, this I'm is amazing. That you can become friends with spirits. Anyone who can dream has the potential. Few ever try. My friends comforted me in grief and shared my joy. Yet, because they exist without form, as we understand it, the Chantry declares that spirits are not truly people. Is Cassandra defined by her cheekbones and not her faith? Varric by his chest hair and not his wit? <laughs> Oh, I can flirt with him again. I... I like to... I like him actually a lot and he's quite interesting. And I feel kind of familiar to him, maybe because I'm an elf and mate too, I don't you know. You have an interesting way of looking at the world, <laughs> Solas. I try. And that isn't quite an answer. I look forward to helping you make new friends. That should be... Well, that isn't quite <laughs> an answer either. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Let's talk later. <laughs> okay. Let's go. I I maybe I think I should go and talk to Varric then. See if he has anything new to say to me. Hello. Really? Just Can I ask you something, Varric? Personal questions, you want maybe? want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Mm -hmm. Also inclined <laughs> toward extravagant lies. Thanks, Varric. Okay, no apparently problem. not. Let's go for Cassandra and Cullen outside. Really? You think the Templars are responsible for the attack on the Conclave? I think they're a piece of it, as are the Tevinter in the hinterlands. 
What are they doing here? Really? They're always putting their noses in every business. <laughs> Hey Cassandra. Yes. Shall we talk? Hmm. Tell me about Seekers. Can you tell me more will about you? the Seekers. The Seekers of Truth were born from the original Inquisition long ago, when it united with the church. I know. Seekers stood above the Templars, watching over them but also investigating magical events they couldn't handle. We were meant to be incorruptible, above reproach. How seldom does reality match the ideal? But what are they exactly? What are the seekers exactly? Those who know anything <laughs> of us think we are Templars. We do not use Lyrium, however. Our abilities are different, as was our original purpose. We disciplined the Templars and were accountable only to the Divine. And not even her, truthfully. So you let them the somehow? Commanded the Templars. No, the Order didn't assume command until after the rebellion. The Templars have always feared us. When a Seeker arrived at a circle, they knew trouble was afoot. That kind of power is troubling. Mm. You begin to think you are the only one who can solve the world's problems. If you don't see a problem, it doesn't exist. If someone insists it does, they are the blind ones. And you think that could be you think fixed that kind of problem could ever be fixed? Possibly. Though the Seekers themselves would need to change. They were clearly not willing to, even How? though they abandoned everything they stood for to avoid it. In my heart, I believe they can still be salvaged, but not by their own hands. But how then? Hmm. Can you tell me about your abilities? The Seekers have different abilities than Templars. Entirely. A Templar's abilities come from Lyrium and are designed to hunt mages. Ours come from ritual and many years of dedicated training. We cannot be possessed by demons and are immune to mind control. Useful considering our Really? Role. Seekers can gain other gifts, though that depends on the individual. You mean gifts? What kind of gifts like... do you have? I can set the Lyrium within a person's blood aflame. Both mages and Templars bend before my will. Some Seekers use it wow. to interrogate, others simply to paralyze. Once there was a Seeker who could use it to kill. That particular gift is considered rare. That's strange. How do you gain those powers? I don't understand. So how do you become a ske how Seeker? Yes. Become a seeker? Most Seekers begin training in their youth. I was much older. An exception due to my noble birth. We train rigorously for years. Our bodies and minds must be elastic to undergo the vigil, and most fail even then. What is, is the, vigil? the vigil? Some kind of initiation. It is the rite every seeker must go through in order to summon their gifts. A full year of fasting, prayer, and separation from all distractions, including other people. We empty ourselves of all emotion, focusing only on the purity of our devotion. And the moment it finally ends, it's wonderful. Faith realized. I cannot put it into words. But there must be something else. You are telling me that you can set the lyrium in someone's blood on fire. But how are you doing that? I know that Templars gain their kind of magical powers through lyrium but how you have that was is it magic? Kind of magic i don't I fully don't understand it to be honest if the vigil how? was not so That's... arduous i'd say more should attempt it what if mages never needed to fear possession by demons i'm told it is impossible however i suppose i'll never know the truth of it now no this is i don't know so why did the why Seekers rebel? against the Chantry? We originally united with the Chantry for a treaty that stated they would keep mages under control. It was felt Most Holy had tacitly allowed the Circle of Magi to vote on its independence, thus breaking the treaty.
the Seekers saw themselves as justified, and they led the Templars into a war of righteousness. And you disagree? Like disagree. We knew what was happening at Kirkwall, where the Mage Rebellion began. We looked into reports of Knight Commander Meredith's harsh treatment of her charges years earlier. But we found so many shocking cases of magical corruption, it was decided her actions were justified. If we'd been there when it happened, if we'd looked harder at the root causes... You know, Cassandra, you may not agree, but I think that we just should be free. What else did you expect? I expected mm -hmm. us to do better. When faced with a problem, the Seekers would close ranks and crush it. We would find an answer, but only once we felt we weren't being coerced. The moment the Mages voted for independence, our response was predictable. It was difficult to watch. I've no more questions. Okay, let's talk later. We can talk more again later. And Cullen. Not really. You tell me, is there is anything there I should I know? know? The Lord Seeker's actions are a mystery. The Templars will aid us. They cannot sit idle while the breach remains. They seem like they can. Why do you Why think the they Templars left? Break away from the Chantry. The Order believes the Chantry no longer supports their efforts. Not to the extent they should. But the Templars have served them. the Chantry for ages. In that time, they've come to take the Order's services for granted. Templars risk their lives against blood magic, demons, abominations, to feel as if those efforts are dismissed. Now, I may disagree with the Order's actions, but I'm here as proof of that. But I sympathize with their frustrations. Hmm. Maybe you can tell me more about the, like Templar's more about the Templars' life. I'd like to if you need hear. insight into what the Order is doing now, I'm afraid I can't offer more than you already know. Anything else, I will answer as best I can. Okay. So, how are what they trained? Training involved? There is weapon and combat training. Even without their abilities, Templars are among the best warriors in Thedas. Initiates must also memorize portions of the Chant of Light, study history, and improve their mental focus. Was it enjoyable Did you enjoy your training? If I was giving my life to this, I would be the best Templar I could. If you were a model student. I wanted to be. I wasn't always successful. <laughs> Watching a candle burn Why? down while reciting the chant of transfiguration wasn't the most exciting task. I admit, <laughs> my mind sometimes wandered. I can understand that. So, what about your walls? Templars take vows. I swear to the Maker to watch all the mages, that sort of thing. There's a vigil first. You're meant to be at peace during that time, but your life is about to change. When it's over, you give yourself to a life of service. That's when you're given a filter, your first draft of Lyrium and its power. Mm. As Templars, we are not to seek wealth or acknowledgement. Our lives belong to the Maker and the path we have chosen. I can ask that, why not? Are those wolves, wolves of celibacy? Of service and sacrifice. Are Templars also expected to give up physical temptations? Physical? Why? Why would you ask not expect? The Templars can marry, although there are rules around it and the Order must grant permission. Some may choose hmm. to give up more of their devotion, but it's... Not required. <laughs> I'm just asking, you know, just asking. Nothing meant by it. I, um, uh, no, I've taken no such vows. Make us breath. Okay. Can we speak of something else? Yeah, sure. What do Templars do then? here, my keeper suggested I avoid Templars. Do they do anything besides hunt mages? Templars protect against the dangers of magic. Before the Order left the Chantry, 
That meant serving in a circle. They were also tasked with tracking apostates or fighting demons inevitably summoned by the weak or malicious. Hmm. So what's your what opinion you about them? Are they all afraid? I've seen the suffering magic can inflict. I've treated mages mm -hmm. with distrust because of it. At times without cause. I know. That was unworthy of me. I'll try not to do so again. Not that I want mages wow. moving through our base completely unchecked. We need safeguards in place <laughs> to protect people, including mages, from possession of the beast. But you came along a long way. I like that. I like your views now. So can you tell me why did you, why did you become a Templar then? I could think of no better calling than to protect those in need. I used to beg the Templars as our local chantry to teach me. At first they merely humored me. I must have shown promise, or at least a willingness to learn. The night captain spoke to my parents on my behalf. And they agreed to send me for training. I was 13. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's still so young. I wasn't the youngest there. Some children are promised to the order at infancy. Still, I didn't take on full responsibilities until I was 18. The order sees you trained and educated first. And what, what about, about your family? family? Did you miss them? Of course. But there were many my age who felt the same. We learned to look out for one another. Mm -hmm. So you lived in the circle your entire life you almost? What was a typical day for a Templar there? <laughs> typical. The last time I was in a circle was right before it fell apart. Nothing was typical. Before that, then? Certain rituals require a full guard. A mage's harrowing, for instance. I've attended a few. Most of the time, you merely maintain a presence on patrol or in the circle, ready to respond if needed. Mages pretend to ignore that presence, but they're watching you just as closely. Mm -hmm. And you didn't do talk to them? And never speak to each other. Some do. But Templars are supposed to maintain a certain distance from their charges. If a mage is possessed or uses blood magic, you must act quickly, without hesitation. Your judgment cannot be clouded. Of course, ignoring one another does nothing to foster understanding. Mm. That's okay, all then. I wanted to know. Thank you. Should you require anything, I'll be here. Thank you. We'll definitely talk again. Well, I think I can talk to Liliana. Liliana, I'm coming. Hello. Did you need something? Not really. Let's talk. Can you Let's tell me about, about you. yourself? Me. Mhm. Mm Any stories? Yes, Bard stories. I bet you tell some good ones. There are plenty of tales in the library. Perhaps you should look for them there. But but you tell them better. And it's much more entertaining that way. No, okay, tell what me about you your past What did you do before then. you worked for the Divine? I was a bard, an Olegian spy for many years. For a time I also mm -hmm. served a small cloister in Lothary. After the Blight, the Divine called on me to oversee her personal network. I'd like to be a bard, so I don't know about that, but... Can you teach me to be a bard? <laughs> Being a bard is so much more than being a spy. It involves a keen understanding of politics. The ebb and flow of influence. The great game. The bards is an intricate dance where a smile can be sharper than any dagger. The best way to learn I is know. to immerse yourself in it. Perhaps when this is all over, I'll teach you. I Thank should you. leave you to your work. We can always talk later. Okay. Did you but need something? Wait, don't go. Not yet. Hmm. You are you well to connected. Know great people. I have made friends, and on occasion enemies. It's unavoidable. I know. So you met the hero of Ferelden. Yes, you have tell a history me about with her. the warden who entered the blight. 
Don't you? I count her among my closest friends. She's probably the only person I trust completely. I haven't heard from her in some time. She just disappeared. Why? I try not to think Why? about what might have happened. Last time I checked off, she was with Alistair. When I saw Alistair at Act 3 of Dragon Age 2. What happened to her? I want more information. Come on. Oh, no. <sighs> okay. They Did you not you spent some time in Lothering. Did you know the champion? We spoke a few times. I seldom left the Chantry, and we never became more than casual acquaintances. I saw more of the Hog twins. Bethany in particular. She would spend time in meditation at the Chantry, and she seemed to like my stories. The other one, <laughs> the young man, he was a little surly. I did encounter the champion again Garbage. later in Kirkwall. Those were terrible times. Why were was they terrible? The Chantry was destroyed. No, that happened later. But even then, the news coming out of Kirkwall was disheartening. There were some in Val Rayo who wanted the Divine to declare an exalted march on Kirkwall. Justina sent me there to see if that could be avoided, to gather evidence to calm those agitating for war. I, I remember that. In the end. I guess we so. can continue this conversation later. You know where I am. Yes, I do. I think I now I'm now going to go to the war table. I have heard rumors of a way to reverse the right of tranquility. Yes, really? I have heard them as well. Would you wish to have your self restored? I do not believe that would be wise. Maker, the number the of demons present me, might leave me vulnerable to possession. I, I might also experience feelings of discomfort endure. over events what that occurred while I was in this state. No can I can suffer. survive in this fashion. If I were made whole again, I might not. It is a terrible bargain so, we ask you to make. So, what happens at the novel Asun Asunder? People already know that right of tranquility is reversible. Okay, so they know now. Let me see, do we have any news from... Red Jenny, Inquisition needs bees. We have received weapon plans and located an apiary to supply us. When the idea was presented, the beekeeper tented his fingers and sneered. Of course, quite disturbing. <laughs> okay. And we have a jar of bees. Calto Andraste. It's incredible how many passages remained undiscovered even after the Chantry's arrival and they scoured every inch of these mountains for years in search of anything related to the sacred ashes. The cult didn't build all of this. It was here long before and who knows how many years it would take to find it all. What happened to the ashes by the way? <laughs> of the new passages uncovered during the research, during the search, most were long empty or contained goods far beyond salvage. A few, however, yielded some artifacts of interest and one evidently contains strange runes we have yet to translate. If we can find someone capable of doing so, they might prove of use. Okay. Sick, I have... We have new here. New quests, secrets of Andraste. And I'm going to collect what I had before. The Chantry remains. Diplomacy won the day. The clerics chosen to receive aid have been most appreciative and have successfully drawn out our detractors. This caused an internal struggle. Clerics hiring tax to kill other clerics. I was forced to intervene such despicable behavior from those who aspire to the Sunburst throne. The mood in the Grand Cathedral is tense, but for now the Chantry can be counted our politically political ally. Wow. That's wow. We have something else for <laughs> S 
Sarah and she is addressing to Cullen. I can make no sense of this. The Herald of the Herald found her. Perhaps she can advise Cullen. Okay. So uh, this was actually addressed to Cullen, but he didn't understood what's happening. So he is asking me. A letter from Sarah follows. For your big hats, Lord, whoever says your rubbish. His servants don't care but could drop a few things for them. They'll give Josephine a surprise. I think scrolls or something. Sarah. A scribble of heraldic symbols and directions are below. Also Sarah's name 37 times. <laughs> okay, Leliana says we require middlemen, secure the goods and the favor of the noble. Hmm. And Josephine, the herald is of a minor house. Shall we instead see what the surprise might be? And Cullen, we have no time for games. Far simpler to stop this with soldiers and find favor with this noble. <laughs> okay, Cullen. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. So Leliana and Cullen wants to favor the noble, but Josephine wants to see the surprise. Hmm. But Leliana is actually offering both of them somehow, both goods and favor. Let's let's, let's see go with Leliana. Have. Okay. And back to Ferelden. Let's go for the secrets of Andraste. The runes discovered in the mountain passage during the recent search are of a type never seen before. Neither Tevinter nor Elven, and perhaps dating back to the time of Andraste herself. There are few who might be able to translate the script, and the benefit of doing so is unknown. Hmm. We have agents with magical knowledge and the means to acquire texts. Let us work with this ourselves. I know of several Antivan scholars who can be discreet. They would happily translate the runes for us. Go for it, Josephine. And... Anything else that I'm missing? No. Let's send remaining to gather right. coin then. Why not? So, I think I should actually decide where and what am I going to do next. But I think it's going to wait for the next episode. Because I'm almost out of time again. So, see you again everybody. Bye bye.